Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. Motor home in fun on this glorious Saturday morning. We've come over to Sywell Country Park in Northamptonshire. For hopefully a lovely little walk guys and that um yeah another little play about with a new action five camera guys so um we'll take you on our little walk today. Now this is part of the Northamptonshire country parks it is we've got the season ticket for the car to park here and that so we try to make the most of it it covers I think five different country parks in Northamptonshire so um, over the year we do get our money it's worth well it's a bright morning but it's a chilly morning a little bit of ground frost this morning it was probably about three degrees it was showing in in the car but um, after the week of rain we just had probably record amounts of rain for September in Northamptonshire this is a lovely morning so you can see it's a reservoir well topped up at the moment right so we're just going to take a wander down the the steps and then we're going to do a, a loop of the reservoir. This guy's happy, she's off her lead. we also got Bo with us today. So this is going down towards the, the bottom car park and the cafe area and you can see some picnic tables as well. So we're filming with the Pro settings today in HLG 10-bit colour at 60 frames per second today. Oh, we've got some lovely autumn colours starting to appear now. All of a sudden Summer seems to have gone now. So this is the bottom car park at Sywell Country Parks. We don't normally come down this way, but just because we're doing a vlog, we'll just show you the car park and the cafe area and where the toilets are. Um, not too sure how much the parking is, but um, I would guess if you haven't got the season ticket, it'd probably be about £3 or £3.50. Right, so that's a little cafe area, indoor and outdoor dining. And lo and behold, we do have a pay here, which is £3.50 for up to 12 hours. Right, so there's one of the menus for the cafe. That's the drinks menu. And over here, we have the food menu. Right, so we head up to the main country park area now. We've got this lovely little watery fall. I don't know what it's called, a rill possibly. With all the rain we've had the last week, that is coming down lovely. There you go, copious amounts of water coming down there. So we've had lots of flooding in the area, rivers flooding, roads flooding. So this is probably the best day of the weekend. We are predicted to get more rain tomorrow and Monday and into next week. So there's views back down the causeway. We've just come from down the bottom. 
So we'll continue the walk around the country park. Well, we're head down by the water's edge at the moment. Um, not too sure how waterlogged it will be down here. Not too bad at the moment. We've got our Gore-Tex walking shoes on, so hopefully we shouldn't get wet feet. And there are some wild water open water swimmers today out there not too many we have stopped coming here sometimes on a Saturday morning because the car park gets full by even eight o'clock in the morning and you can see what a glorious morning the sky's happy she's gone in the water to get a ball Be as tough as old boots, Sky, in that cold water. Some beautiful swans there. Funny you know, anybody else who's got an Action 5. I think there's going to be some firmware updates on the camera coming in the next week or so. I think DJI confirmed there's a few issues with a new camera so there'll be some new software put out soon we're getting a little bit wet down here now through puddles drone with us today. Um, we're technically in a no fly zone, so there's a small airport close by. Um, we can request flight but I um, haven't done today guys and that so um, I've done some from here in the past. Just got to pick the ball up the sky and um, at the moment Whitby is still on for two weeks time and that um, no news from the hospital yet on surgery, so um, we're just waiting about for that, guys. So um, we'll continue life as it is. Well, who doesn't love a lovely walk like this on a weekend, on a lovely day? Well, we're using the new multi-function handle on the camera now that turned up from Amazon so we've got um, full control of the camera at our fingertips now without touching the camera itself we can change modes as well photo modes time lapse hyperlapse night mode and that guy so it's um, made it much more easier and we've got a little small tripod on the bottom as well for setting up so I'm um, pretty happy with this and it also charges the camera as we use it. Sky getting impatient. Right so we're going to head up towards 
Hayes woodland area now. That is the only section of this walk where dogs must be on a lead. We're going to do the full three miles or three miles plus walk on this this morning. There is a shortened route which will show you which cuts it down by about half a mile. Right, so we're approaching Hayes Woodland area. Get through the gateway. There you go, Hayes Wood Wildlife Refuge. sun shining through the trees there there's a fish one down there as well I can see we normally have a little wander through there but um, they've got some little hedges up in front now so um, I can't get through from this point so this little woodland section is probably about half a mile long While we're walking, just another thank you. I think I said it on last week's vlog. Thank you for watching all the Southwold and Oldbra walks and footage. Uh, still got some drone flights to come from Oldbra and Thorpe Ness, guys, and that. So keep watching those if you could, please. And then we've got a few local drone flights after that, guys. And then hopefully back off to to Whitby. My little favourite section of the walk is this, through this little woodland section, a little bit windy, slightly uphill, and you can see it looks glorious this morning with the sun coming through. Right, so I can go back off a lead once we turn the corner here. Right, through the gateway. Right, we're back where we can walk around the reservoir a bit now, out to the woodland area. We'll drop down to the water's edge in a minute, see if it's not waterlogged.
we're into the gateway and we're into Spindle End Wildlife Refuge now. This is where the route splits two ways. The longer route puts another half a mile, 10 minutes on the walk. If you go down to the right, that is the shorter walk, or well, the longer one is to the left. All right, as you can see, I've seen from the walk, it's a stunning autumn day now, late September. I'm sure we will get a few more of these over the next few weeks and months. We don't mind a cold, crisp, blue sky walk. It'd be nice if it's like this in a couple of weeks time when we're in Whitby. Right, just a little mileage update on the walk. We're currently two and a half miles in at the moment. Right, we're going to drop down to the right here. Come on, we're going this way. We're not going in there, that's a bird hide. Come on. Right, we're coming up to the final section now, probably another three quarters of a mile from these gates up here. As you can see, it's all mainly these pathway tracks. Okay, we have cut along the water's edge on the grass. There was a few puddles, but um, overall it wasn't too bad, considering the amount of rain and water we've had. Well, we continue with the views of the reservoir again. It's the same old story being right, we're going to cut down by the water's edge in a minute. And Sky knows where she wants to go. Too sure whether I do though. Well, we're gonna have two dirty dogs when we get back. Not too sure whether Mum will be pleased or not with Bo. It's 
So we just come from the other side. Just walk around the perimeter now. It's quite a flat walk, everybody. If you are wondering, you want to do the walk yourselves. No cyclists around here. Cycles are banned here. Well, we're virtually at the end now, the last few hundred metres. Right, so we're back at the start. This is where the swimmers have parked. This is a new feature since I last come, this little undercover building. Right, that's the end of our walk everybody, thank you, if you've made it to the end of the walk, please give us a like and a comment guys, and all that, as I say it's more of a testing out the camera day again today, altered a few settings and that, and I thought what a lovely day it is today, take the opportunity for a walk, so much appreciated, and we'll see you on the next one.